Hi, hi viewers, welcome to another video. Um, today we're doing uh, the Misty Mountains. We call that because in the valley that we live in is Ponticama. Um, the mist descends on the mountains and it just looks so atmospheric and beautiful. Um, so I've started on the skies. So basically what I've done, I've mixed, I've mixed black paint and I've mixed white, uh, mixed white gesso. And what I've done, I used a brush and just painted that over. But then, what I've done, I got a palette knife and I just did like that. Just dabbing it on like that on the page to get that atmosphere. It's, a, it's an impressionist style really. Um, you know, hence why, you know, the black and the white and it's just, it look, it's to make it look atmospheric and a bit stormy if you like. So... So now the next stage, which I'll go into more detail, is da -da, we have our earth pigments again. So I'm going to make a green, because yellow, yellow and blue do make green. And unfortunately... I just read it right, okay. I have got a water pen because what I should have brought up with me was some water spray. So, there is always a plan, there's always a plan B. So I'm not gonna put a lot because of that very reason, basically. Right, guys, I'm just going to have to get my watercolour pen. Which is in here, which, ah, oh, there we go, which will have some water in there, basically. So, as you can see, there's water in that pen, which will hopefully save the day. It used to be resourceful. It definitely pays, pays to be resourceful, yes. Actually, in a sense, I've um, ever since actually made a watercolour. Definitely pays to be resourceful. I'm going to try if this does work as a watercolour. As I said, it's my own silly fault. Right, so you know you usually use a paintbrush. Well, I'm going to show you how you can use, use makeup applicators for effects. Which is something different. And as we know, as we know some decent... Um, brushes can be quite expensive so again this is a purely experiment as I haven't even tried this so I'm just going to dip this yeah as I said and basically I'm just going to dip it like this basically to give um, you know, like there is something in the mist. As I said, oils would have worked out better with this, to be honest. But as you can see, it actually does. Give sort of quite a nice atmosphere. As I said, the, main, the base really is just to get the base of the green colour really coming in through the mist and then you would use linseed oil to to basically make this more well more um should we say make it more what's the word thicker is it yeah make it thicker make it more prominent that's the word i'm looking for so you'd make the trees more prominent but you know but this is a good way 
you know, just to get the green, you know, just to get basically again get that green. That you know, there's something there, but you're not quite a hundred percent sure. So again, just gonna do it like this. Just making more of a mess, folks, than I usually do. So we're just going to do it across the page like that. And, you know, just be very quick about it. And you can see that the brush or bristle, the bristles of the brush is starting to come through a bit there as well. Which is what you want. The brush, because it's, uh, it's a makeup, you know, for mascara technically. You know, it has a nice um, end at the brush. Okay, so I'm just going to finish up here. I'm going to show you something else where you can actually use something else for leaves, for example. Okay. Okay, so that's the leaves. Okay, so now, actually we're going to add flowers with this. Um, now we get these little... Yeah, because that's technically mascara brush. This is, I think this is, could be for your eyeshadow. So, yeah. So anyway, so what we could do is do flowers down here. So why not? Or you could even add a bush. See how, see how the end of it makes a nice little pattern? No, that actually, you know, does actually make a lovely little bush. And all you're doing is just dabbing the ends of it like that. I just do a little bit more and then I think we're finished. Off. I say we will come back to this painting. I can show you what I do um, step by step. So yeah, um, yeah I'd like to uh, thank you for watching you know and you know and remember, there is an alternative. You can either use a brush or you can use an eyebrow sponge. So, yeah, I'd, I'd like to thank you for listening and we should carry on with this painting. Okay, bye.